Boomer. Boomer's automatically. Come on. Hey. Come on. Stay here. Oh. Come on. Ojo was sleeping on me last night and decided in the middle of the night to make muffins on me with no blankets on me, so it hurt. <laughs> Woke me up. Just wanted to tattoo you. <laughs> right? It's really cute. She'll, uh, Mojo will sleep on me and Mama Kitty will sleep on the floor next to the couch. Cool. If I put my hand down, Mama Kitty will move. But most of the time, unless she's closed in the bedroom under the bed, then she'll sleep in the bedroom with Kevin. <laughs> Without me knowing if she's there. Yeah. I gotta hold on to the animal here because he gets mad when Mojo comes Mojo in comes meowing. In. Look at Mojo rolling around. Here. Uh, oh, too late. I probably scared him, but I gotta hold on to him, don't I? I gotta hold on to you, stink pot. Hi, Momo. Really? What else do you have to tell everybody? <laughs> Freckles is telling everybody he's got a cough. <laughs> and Boomer's telling everybody he's annoyed that Mojo is getting attention. <laughs> right? He's so cute. So today, um, I need to try and do something about ants. So the uh, first thing is I'm going to uh, clean up the kitchen again. Uh, then I'm going to fix the sprinkler system uh, and then I'm going to take the our outside spray and spray the perimeter of the house to see if I can catch any of the ants entering the house. Yeah. But I I just think that if if it's, uh, the lawn is wet or wetter than it is, they won't be coming in because that's all they seem to be coming after is water. Yeah. Well, there's no food left on the counters or anything like no, that. So. Been very good about that. Yeah, so, so they're after the water, especially since, you know, you see them in the sink. You know. He's just loving that. He doesn't Is care he? that you're holding them. Happy? <laughs> ah, there he goes. <laughs> so that's my day. And uh, I'll drag you guys outside with me. I get, the sun, get a sunburn, I guess. And y'all know what my day's going to consist of. Oh my gosh, my hair is wild. <laughs> ah, crazy woman. Um, my day is going to consist of, you guessed it, coloring and watching TV. All right, so the ant problem is really, really huge right now, so... My first step is to clean the kitchen yet again. Uh, make sure there's nothing that the ants are after. But it seems to be they're just after water. So they're spending most of their time in the sink. So that's going to be my next step. I need to uh, get the sprinkler system working. And I got a uh, the uh, sprinkler head. Ah, here it is. I bought the sprinkler head. It was only like four bucks. Replace that and I'm gonna go outside and check the rest of the sprinkler heads and I hope they're all working because I don't wanna to have to go back out to the store to get more sprinkler heads. Then get the, uh, the sprinklers going. The lawn is quite dead now and uh, I've had the sprinkler system off for about a, a week. This is what it's like in the desert. It's another beautiful day out here. Not a cloud in the sky. Looks like we may have a little bit of smog. Nothing too bad. Uh, this is what I'm replacing. I just pulled this out of the ground. Four inch pop-up sprinkler head. Oh, 360, that's not good. That's not what I want. So I ended up buying a 360 uh, degree sprinkler head which means it'll spray out in all directions and this is at the corner of the lawn and I need it to spray just at uh, 90 degrees a quarter of the of uh, the 360 
Luckily, they were the same brand. I just pulled off the, the 360 head and put the quarter on. And uh, I'll just put this back together. So here is uh, where I'm putting it back in. Hopefully, I can just screw it in. I probably will have to dig all the way down, however. It's at the corner of the lawn, as you can see. And if I'm not careful with the truck, I will run right over it, which is probably what I did. Knock the top right off. So let's see how much work this is going to be. So the dirt is rock hard. I'm going to have to dig it down six inches to get this on properly. And I'm going to run some water on it just to uh, soften this dirt up. There's the end of it right there. It's full of dirt right now. I gotta blow it out, clean up the threads so that I can easily and happily uh, screw on the uh, sprinkler head. All right, behind this bush, front of the house is where I have all my controlling valves. And I don't know which one controls that one, so I'm just going to have to uh, turn them on one by one. <laughs> okay, so I got it on the line. I'm gonna blow it out one more time before I put the guts back in. Hey! Seriously? Yeah, 546. All right. Uh, just give them a call today. I'll leave it on. I'll yeah. Make, I'll make a note of it. I will take care of it right now. All right, that's perfect. Thank you. So I'm calling the city of Corona. Try to keep our water from being turned off. And of course I'm on hold. I don't know how long that's going to be. So, and can't fix anything with the lawn if we have no water. So we only have a couple hundred dollars in our account, so I hope they'll let us do a partial payment. So this is the first time we almost had our water turned off. We've had our electricity turned off. Three times? Twice. Twice. So... And uh, so, and it's what, is today May 1st or May 2nd? Today's May 1st. And so that means all of the, um, uh, beginning, of the month beginning of the month bills came out of my account and left me with not enough money to pay this bill. So we did a partial payment. They promised not to uh, turn it off. And uh, All right, so it's set up well. I just need to... Bury it back in. This is just crabgrass, so I'm not going to put that back in. All right, so I didn't get to check all of the uh, sprinkler heads in the yard. It's a big yard, a lot of sprinkler heads. I got eight different uh, stations. Uh, I got what was in the front and I know I got a couple of them that I knew were broken I am going to turn this on so it'll start sprinkling it'll start watering in the morning meantime the last thing I want to do today is um, spray around the house for ants so I need to get my bug spray out Okay, so this is what I'm using. It's Ortho Home Defense. I'm uh, spray the entire perimeter of the house, and I will keep the animals inside for about a half hour before I'll let them out again. 
just to make sure that yeah, there's no problems with them. I'm going to need both hands to use this, so I'm not going to be able to video. There we are. What a day. And yes, I got my cast wet. Uh-oh. In case anybody was asking. It's dry now. Yeah, but it's probably stinky. Does it stink? Does it stink? Yes. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. I stink now. It's stinky. <laughs> He's stinky boy. Doesn't come off for another 10 days. <laughs> He's gonna smell all moldy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, anyway, we're calling it a night. It's been a pretty stressful day. Well, I guess so. Yeah. We didn't get our water turned off, but we almost did. Yeah, running around trying to pay bills at the last minute and transferring money from one place to another to cover this one, robbing Peter to pay Paul, basically. So, anyway, <laughs> we got it covered. <laughs> Joel, you're so funny. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you saw in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite, a share, leave us a comment, and please subscribe. And we shall see you all tomorrow. Bye. Ta-ta for now. Bye.